This video will show you how to select features based on their proximity to other features using the Select by Location tool. We're starting off in ArcGIS Pro where within my map I've got two different data layers loaded in. I've got my census block groups displayed showing the total block group population, and I've also got a point feature class. This layer shows the brownfield locations within the state of Vermont. My goal is to sum the population for all the block groups that contain a brownfield. To do this, I'll need to find each and every block group polygon that contains a brownfield point location. There's a number of ways to accomplish this task, but the Select by Locations tool is by far the most efficient. Select by Location is a geoprocessing tool. You can access it from within the Geoprocessing tab, or you can go up within the Map tab and to the Selection group and click on the Select by Location button. Regardless of the approach you take, both will launch the exact same geoprocessing tool. Because I want to find the census block groups that contain a brownfield location, the census block groups are going to be my input feature layer. I'm setting the relationship to intersect, which means if a brownfield point overlays on top of a census block group polygon, that census block group polygon will be selected. The selecting features are going to be the brownfield locations. So to reiterate what we're doing here, we're saying if a brownfield location intersects a census block group polygon, that polygon is going to be selected, and it's going to create a new selection. Once the Select by Location geoprocessing tool has finished running, we see that every census block group that intersects a brownfield location has been selected. If we open up the attribute table of our census block groups, we can view that selection. Recall that my goal in this case was to summarize the total population within those census block groups that contain a brownfield location. So I'm going to move over to the total population attribute, the P0030001, and go to statistics. By default, the distribution displays all of the records, but I only want to see those ones that were part of my select by location. So I'm going to click on the selection button. The distribution changes to reflect only those selected polygons, and now when I move over and see my statistics, the summary statistics present the total population of all those census block groups that intersect a brownfield location. We can also employ select by location to find features that are within a proximity or distance of other features. In this next example, I'm going to use the Select by Location tool to help me locate all of the deer wintering areas that are within a quarter mile of a road. My deer wintering areas are a polygon feature class, and my road center lines are a polyline feature class. Just as I did before, I'm going to launch the Select by Location tool, but the parameters in this instance are going to be a little bit different. The features that I want to select come from my deer wintering area, so that's going to be the input feature layer, but the relationship this time is different. I want it to be within a distance of. My selecting features are the roads, since those are the features that I want to search within the distance of, and then I'm specifying 0.25 miles for my search distance. I'm able to specify a search distance because my input feature classes both have a projected coordinate system. I'm creating a new selection as part of this process, so when I click Run and the Select by Layer Location tool finishes executing, I'm going to see returned all of the deer wintering areas that fall within a quarter mile of those road center lines. We see that for these larger polygons, even if only a small portion of that polygon falls within the quarter mile distance, that it will be selected. Now let's flip this around and use the Select by Location tool to find all the deer wintering areas that are outside of a quarter mile distance from the roads. When I launch the Select by Location tool, you're going to see that my parameters are identical to as they were before. The only difference this time around is I'm going to check the box for Invert Spatial Relationship to return the opposite of my selection. Now when I run the Select by Location, all the deer wintering polygons that are beyond a quarter mile distance of the roads will be selected. As with any selection, regardless of its Select by Attributes or Select by Location, I have the option to create a layer for my selected features. 
This layer is simply a virtual subset within ArcGIS. It points back to the same feature class as the original layer, but it has the benefit of making it easier to work with my selection in that it's no longer just a selected part of the main feature class, but now it's its own individual layer. When I open the attribute table for the layer that I created from the selection, we see that only those attributes from the original selection are included in the attribute table. No records are selected because I'm working off of the layer that I created from the selection rather than the original layer which includes the selection. This video introduced you to the Select by Location tool. We showed you how to find polygons that intersect a point layer, and then how to find polygons within the set distance of a line layer. Note that the examples shown here are simply a small subset of the types of select by location operations you can do within ArcGIS.